Hello, welcome back to today's podcast. I'm Preston. I'm Gage. We're going to start the menu for the week. Uh, Monday's lunch is meatballs with dried potatoes, dinner roll for the veggie bar. Monday's breakfast is tornado. Tuesday's lunch is tomato soup, grilled cheese for the veggie bar. Tuesday's breakfast is French toast sticks. Wednesday's lunch is brunzos and mashed potatoes and gravy for the veggie bar. Wednesday's breakfast is breakfast taco. Thursday's lunch is Dagwood baked beans, potato chips for the veggie bar. Thursday's breakfast is many cinnamon rolls. Friday's lunch is pizza, green beans, for veggie bar with a long john for breakfast. Uh, the homecoming dress up days. Monday is neon day. Tuesday, celebrity day. Wednesday, pajama day. Thursday, holiday day. And Friday is bobcat brand day. Uh, high school news. For those who have not paid the following fees, class dues, $20. Activity fee, $10 a student. And Chromebook fee, $25. If these are not paid by next Wednesday, you will be eating last. Uh, we'll be putting in an order for letter jackets. In order to have them by Christmas, we have a deadline on of October 10th. Please stop by Miss and Eric's room and go grab a form. Bobcat Academy meetings on the 11th. There's High School Book Club with Mrs. Whiting. And on the 8th, there is, I think that's today, FBLA Seniors Only with Mrs. Suga. Daily quote, profession is attained by slow degrees. It requires a hand of time. Sports and activities, if any 712 band or any 12, 912 choir member would like a yard sign, please let Miss sign off the Further matter any after school events for some of the Bobcat responsibilities. Now I'll read you this week's uh, sporting events. Uh, Saturday, September 9th, JV Volleyball at O'Neill St. Mary's. 9 a.m. St. Mary's versus Neely Oakdale. Game 2, Neely Oakdale versus Summerlin. Game 3, Summerlin versus, uh, what is that? Niagara. Niagara. And Game 4, St. Mary's versus Niagara. <laughs> Varsity Volleyball at Creighton. 9.15 Creighton versus Arlington, 10.30 Summerlin versus West Hall, 11.30 Creighton versus West Hall, 12.30 Summerlin versus Arlington, 1.30 Arlington versus West Hall and Creighton at 2.30 versus Summerlin. I got a for today's Bobcast. Make sure to stay tuned for Matt and Dave's interview with Paula. Hey guys, we're back with another video and this is... Oh, no. And the cameraman back there is going to ask a couple questions. Okay, so what country are you originally from? I'm from Spain. And what was your favorite thing about your home country? Probably the food and the people. What's different about the food here then? Well, here you only eat fast food, <laughs> basically. And there we have like a lot of different food, like we eat so many vegetables. Fast food sounds way better. No. What has been your favorite part about being an American? I don't know, going to a new country, meeting new people, having experiences. How does the climate in America compare to the climate in Spain? Here it's very cold and the air conditioning is always freezing and in Spain it's very warm and the weather is very nice, nicer than what are some of your favorite pastimes in Spain and how does that differ from your pastimes in America? Um, yeah. Okay. I just like shopping. So it's the same thing. I like spending money. How do most people how do most people in Spain spend their free time? Probably playing sports or playing video games. Sometimes hanging out. Wait, I have a question. Compared to people from Spain, do we seem a little dumb? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes sense. But not too much, don't worry. How are the schools different in Spain and America? Well, it's easier here. And in Spain, you have the same classmates in each class. So you don't mix with other people, and you have the same people since you're, what, five? I feel like that would suck if you, like, hate a bunch of people from your class. Yeah, it's kind of bad. I like it more here. Have you traveled to any other countries other than America and Spain? Yeah, I've been to Italy, Sweden, France, Germany, UK. I think that's it.
how do you think the changes in Spain will compare to the changes in America in 10 years? Like, 10 years in the future, which country do you think will be more advanced compared to what it originally was? Which one's more advanced right now? Okay, I think the U.S. Like here. I'm trying to get something. <laughs> Aiden, do you want to join us? Yeah, come here. Come here, Aiden. What is the primary way to travel to school in your home country? My car. I didn't know that. Some people. So you keep getting yelled at in the background. Bye. What part of your home country are you most proud of? America's better. It's not. It's, I don't think it is either. I live no. here. Was it hard uh, going from speaking Spanish to speaking English? Not really, because I've been speaking English since I'm three. Oh. And in school, I speak English. Outside school, I take English classes, so it wasn't that different. Whatever you think. Do you think in Spanish or do you think in English? I would say English. I don't know why. But yeah. How do people greet each other in America compared we to Spain? Two kisses. Like one in each chick. <laughs> in its face. How is the healthcare system in your country? Cheaper. Very cheap. Public. You also have a private one, but it works pretty good. Of all the countries you've been to, which one was your favorite to be in? Besides your home. I would say Italy, because the streets and like everything, the buildings, it's very pretty. 